Welcome to Too Fun of Books. My name is Janelle and this is a tag video. I was tagged by Dane from Dane Reads, so thank you very much, to do the 20 questions tag. This was created by Steve Donahue and so I am not surprised at all that these are completely random questions. <laughs> They are, they are totally random, and so I'm not surprised that this was created by Steve Donahue. So let's get into it, because these are very entertaining. One, what's the nearest place to you that's so famous everybody knows it? And how near is it? This is, <laughs> I don't know. Um, as far as everybody knows it, um, I mean, possibly the RCMP Training Center and Museum, uh, which is in our city, in Regina, although that could potentially only be famous here <laughs> in Canada. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else in the world cares about the RCMP Training Center. <laughs> um, so let's see. Uh, what's the closest thing to me that's famous? maybe the Rocky Mountains, uh, everyone in the world, I mean around the world, everyone is, I mean the Rocky Mountains are famous enough that a lot of people know about them, um, but they are quite far away from me, um, like as in 12 to 14 hours <laughs> away from me. <laughs> so, all right, uh, two, have you ever had a paper cut so bad you thought you might die of it? No. I have had bad paper, paper cuts, um, but not so bad that I thought I would die. Three, have you ever found anything genuinely valuable in a used book you bought? No, but I have heard of that happening and I am waiting for the day because I spend a lot of time in thrift stores and used bookstores and at used book sales. And it's gonna happen, right? It's gotta happen one of these days that someone used a hundred dollar bill as a bookmark and forgot about it, right? Right? Oh, there is a massive annual book sale in in the city and they, they spend a couple months before the sale, uh, the sale collecting donations and sorting them uh, to get ready for the sale and one year a couple years ago. I helped I volunteered uh, to, to sort through the donations and It was quite common to find things left in books Often, you know like Kleenexes and receipts and, and stuff like that which just got tossed but bookmarks and other things of interest uh, postcards um all kinds of stuff and so what they did and I thought this was really fun is was they they got a bulletin board and if you found something in in one of the used books you would just put it up on the bulletin board and what we ended up with was this huge collage of all of the items that were found in the books and there were some really fun things in there dried flowers and all kinds of stuff but even then, I don't recall hearing about anyone finding anything really valuable um, left in a book. Four, have you ever read, met, or married Jacques Barzun? I don't know who that is. And I, should I have looked that up before I did this? I don't know. I, I, um, I don't know who that is. So I definitely haven't married them. <laughs> Five. Aside from your pets, what is the specific non-human animal you see most often? Um, I don't have any pets, uh, but I am going to have to say uh, sparrows because we have quite a lot of bird feeders and bird houses in our yard and um, we get a lot of sparrows. And so I would say that that's what I see the most often. Six, have you ever been inside a cathedral? If more than one, do you have a favorite? 
I had to think about this and I actually had to go to our memories box and take a look at some of my old photos uh, to, and scrapbooks to remind myself um, because yes, I have been inside a number of cathedrals. In 1994, I was on a trip to Germany and I went to the cathedral at Worms, um, famous for being where Martin Luther said, here I stand. Uh, so I've been to that one, and I've also been to the Münster Cathedral in Basel, um, although that's technically Switzerland, I think, but we went there when I was <laughs> on my trip to Germany. So uh, that's two cathedrals that I've been to. And then also uh, when my husband and I took our trip to England a number of years ago, we visited a few cathedrals then. Uh, we were at Canterbury Cathedral, which was amazing. Um, this is this is what I love the most, I think, about cathedrals. There's two things. I love the architecture. Cathedrals, especially European cathedrals, are beautiful. The architecture is amazing. And the second thing that I love about them is the history. There is so much history in these cathedrals and so many years of history that we just do not have here in Canada. And Canterbury Cathedral definitely hit the mark for both of those things. It was beautiful and it had so much history. I mean, that was where Thomas a Becket was murdered. And so, of course, they've got the shrine there and everything. And then plus um, the all of the famous tombstones and graves. I mean, they've got the effigy for the Black Prince there um, and a number of other uh, kings and queens and stuff. And so um, Canterbury Cathedral was fantastic. We also visited Chichester Cathedral, which was beautiful. It had an amazing pipe organ. And when we were there, the choir was practicing and it was amazing. It was gorgeous. And the acoustics were unbelievable. I actually took a short video um, and I didn't really get a, a great look at the cathedral, but it was because I wanted to get the, the choir. And so I might actually put the clip in here because it was just unbelievable. <laughs> my favorite cathedral was Rochester Cathedral. Um, it was gorgeous. Like architecturally, it was just beautiful. Um, and it had a fantastic pipe organ. But one of the reasons why it has to be my favorite is because that is where I, I got this little guy. This is Rochester. And Rochester currently lives on a shelf in our book nook. And the reason he lives there is because I think that when he was a monk, he probably worked in the scriptorium and therefore he will feel the most comfortable surrounded by books. So Rochester lives in our book nook and I love him so much. Okay, we're done with cathedrals now. <laughs> Seven. Have you ever been actually seeing and hearing things delirious? Um, no, although I think I've gotten somewhat close, you know, a couple of times before I've passed out from <laughs> illness. Anyway, uh, number eight, do you have blood relatives who read for pleasure? Yes, I do. My parents both read for pleasure, especially my mom, but both of them do uh, read for pleasure. Um, and my brother used to, but I don't think he does so much anymore. 
Uh, how many species have you smooched smack dab on the lips? Do you get what I'm saying earlier about these being just totally random questions? <laughs> um, okay, so honest answer, one. Uh, humans, I, I am not at all interested in letting any kind of animal kiss me on the lips. <laughs> uh, ten. Do you ever listen to the radio? Any favorite program or person? The only time I listen to the radio is in the car and I always have it on the same station. There's a local station here in the city that plays music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And so it is fantastic. I love it a lot. 10. Nope, that was 10. 11. Have you ever been to the Eiffel Tower, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, the Louvre, and the answer to all three of those is no, but I want to go to all three of those. 12. What little thing do you miss most that you've lost due to the pandemic? Um, my husband and I both work from home, so I think we've lost a lot less than other people due to the pandemic. But I would have to say, being a very sociable person, um, I'm also a really <laughs> touchy-feely kind of person. So I think that that's what I've lost the most due to the pandemic is um, my, in my interactions with other people. I, I no longer, you know, uh, give people a hug uh, when, I, when I see them again. Um, and I, I do that quite a lot. And so I think that that would be kind of what I've miss what I miss the most what little thing do you miss least that you've lost due to the pandemic um I don't know really uh yeah I don't know uh 14 what's your relationship with small talk hate it like acid love it merely competent I have a difficult relationship with small talk. I wish I was better at it. Um, I feel like my husband Aaron is so good at small talk, although I don't know if he would say that he is, but I think he is. And, and I wish I was better at it. I don't hate it, um, but I think I'm probably competent. I wish I was better at small talk. 15. Have you ever won money at gambling? I had to really think about this because I don't remember. I don't tend to gamble a lot like I don't buy lottery tickets um but I have been to bingo once or twice maybe and I'm fairly certain that I have bet on the horses <laughs> at least once but whether I've won anything when I've done that is another question I don't think so 16 do you ever give money or time to charities yes I do actually. Uh, my husband and I have a number of, of charities that we uh, that we give to. There's um, a downtown mission that works with the homeless that we support. Um, we support a number of international charities um, as well as our church and uh, time. We do both give time to charities as well. Um, we both volunteer quite a lot, although a lot less now because of the pandemic. Um, although for a while there was a there was a charity that uh, in one of kind of the inner city areas um, and every day they, they give out um, muffins and coffee and once a week they do lunch and they were struggling a bit during quarantine and so my mother-in-law and I baked muffins once a week to send over to them and so we would do like two or three dozen muffins each to to give to um that inner city charity uh 17 do you craft knitting crocheting woodworking pottery throwing okay confession time here i am the worst when it comes to crafts i am not a crafty person at all and this has been problematic because I work with kids a lot and there was a time when I had a home daycare and all kinds of things 
and so it is kind of been to my detriment that I am not a super crafty person um, because when you're working with kids that can come up a lot. Um, I am the worst at cutting things out. It looks terrible. Um, my poor mom, she's a she's great. She knits and she used to do uh, crochet and needlepoint and, and so and sewing and she tried to teach me and it just did not work out very well. I don't know if it was because I'm left-handed, I don't know, but that did not go well. And then <laughs> in grade nine, in home economics, our teacher had to bring in another teacher just for me <laughs> because I was taking up too much of her time because I was horrible. So no, I do not craft. Although I've always been interested in pottery throwing and I would love to take a class and see if I'm any good at it or not. I do really, I, I find that whole area fascinating and I would actually like to give it a shot. Um, 18. Do you talk to yourself when you're alone? <laughs> yes, I do. And sometimes not even when I'm alone. <laughs> uh, 19. Were you or are you a social queen bee in college? So, was I a social queen bee in college? Yes, I think I was. Um, yeah. Twenty. Are you a sunrise person or a sunset person? Um, I am definitely not a morning person, so sunrise, no. Although I'm sure they're beautiful and I would love to see a sunrise, but you know, I'm not a morning person. Definitely a sunset person. I love sunsets and I love watching sunsets and I definitely perk up later in the day. So I am a night owl. So those were my answers to the 20 questions tag. <laughs> that was so, that was so random, but also kind of fun. And so um, I am going to tag. Oh, I didn't think about this ahead of time, but uh, I will tag Berna from Berna's Bookish Adventures. And let me see. I'm thinking of other small booktubers uh, that I can tag. I'm going to tag the bookish Bryants, Scott and Becky. Uh, so yeah, that was the 20 questions tag. And I'll see you for another video soon. Bye.